This looks good. She has got a rough tongue. I'm really excited that the kids are coming. Are you breathing that in? So I'm really excited that the kids are coming. It's going to be a really nice time to spend three or four days with them, just relaxing on the property, getting to know the animals, and they're also bringing with them our cute new little additions to the family. So looking forward to meeting those two girls as well. And uh, looking forward to introducing them to you too. So really excited about Hayden and Sarah coming and bringing their friends for a few days to spend time with us. There is a lot to get done before they arrive, including the solar. So now I'm going to put the finishing touches just to the electrics. I've got to run <coughs> cable from the last or the first power point directly to the solar house. On the shipping containers, there is these holes here. So there's one directly behind here, on purpose of course, and it's around about that area there. So I'm going to drill through, put a nice big poly pipe through, um, run the conduit and the cable into there so it's all safe and not going to get snagged on any steel. But that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm crawling under there. Do, right? So, my mate turned up, and the trouble is we had a bit to drink the night before, you know, one or two too many. We were feeling a bit, uh, so we had a bit of a tea break, and then we got straight back into it. We thumping heads, we cracked on, got the racking up, got a few panels up, whew, but then we started to call it a day. So as you can see, we finally got the panels up. That was not easy. I'm, I'm really pleased that uh, my mate came to help. It was hard work. Um, first time ever doing it. Uh, you've got to make sure and double check and measure twice, cut once kind of thing. Now we've got to um, connect it to the isolator switch, do the wiring down in the inside of the shed, into conduit, foam driven under the ground, to the solar house, connect into um, the supply and um, turn her on. So that's next. So we're loaded up with our fencing supplies. We're going to head over and fence our house yard finally. And uh, now that we've got the solar done and a few other small jobs done, it's time to get this done because we have another couple of little surprises joining us here on the farm. <laughs> yeah, and also I need to keep uh, Betty Boop out because she's constantly eating that poor, 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 poor tree and it just doesn't get a chance to flourish and grow. So we've been trying to get this done forever, ever since we had the uh, fence off the no dig garden. We calculated enough to do a whole lot but we were so knackered we just got the garden part done but today... The house yard. Yes. And one little thing about the wire that we're using, it's dog wire but I'm not sure whether our new friends probably still be able to fit through so we may have to go get something finer to keep them in. Yeah, even though they're not dogs. They're definitely not dogs. No. I'm just going to uh, pack up the old fencing. Pretty um, amazing fence line we have here. It's worked well for keeping the Betty and Rocco out though. I've already pulled this bit down. So out with the old and in with the new. So the old fence is down, ready to put the new one up. So we have most of the structure of the fence here, posts, and it's just a matter of 
getting the wire up. Rob's just pulled his vice off one of the posts and we've got a family of frogs living in there. Look at them. Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> no, they're frogs. Frog. 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 <laughs> That's Frog. it. <laughs> we really enjoy making these videos and we hope you enjoy watching them too. You. I'm talking to, I want to talk to you. We, Nick and I, love making these videos and we really sincerely and truly <laughs> We love getting our creative juices flowing here on Running Muck Off Grid. <laughs> Just like we love creating videos for you. And we want to keep them coming. YouTube requires us to have a thousand subscribers to keep our channel alive. Click the big red word subscribe. Please support us. And we little ass. <laughs> Hit the like button and thumbs up! <laughs> mm. Or subscribe, like and share it with your friends. What? Great idea, Rocco! Yes it is, but most important is to subscribe. So, have you done it yet? You hear that tensioning, can't you? Yeah. Because it's not really that long, you see. Mm. That's looking straighter. Oh, Let's check out this side. Mm. Fence looks good. Yeah, call on the baby's home. Got your MacGyver instrument back out. Yeah, it worked really well. Yeah, it's great. And your big bobbin here, that's just too cool for school. Hello there. Come to check out the new fence. Hey buddy, hey buddy, are you stuck inside now, hey, what happened? Uh. She has got a rough tongue. Babe. <laughs> when are we going to get any work done with you two around? Back to my poop scooper now. Mm, chubby chops. I'm gonna get back to work now. Go play. We haven't had any real success with getting our sweet potatoes growing in the no dig straw. So today I've got some little small organic sweet potatoes that I'm gonna pop straight into the ground. Give them a little bit of pig manure and I think they're gonna go a lot better this way. So these are my sweet potatoes. I've also kept this because uh, I just want to see if it will strike from a partial sweet potato. But these guys are organic and uh, 
they should be a nice healthy little specimen to get started. Having some success though with potato, I do have at least one potato coming through and a few stems of garlic coming up through the straw as well. So we are having a little success, not as much success with the uh, green veggies such as capsicum and tomato. They are really more suited to soil. So we're getting those back to the soil, but we have had a couple of pumpkins come through the straw and they've managed to get their roots down into the soil. So they're going great guns. So these guys are going really well, especially this one. I've just given him a nice feed of pig poo this morning. So he'll spread out over this whole area here and give us a nice little harvest of pumpkins. Cucumber's got her roots down as well. She's got some nice pig poo. I've made sure that there's no poo left on the stems so they don't burn. But uh, this one's going great guns too. Just dug four little holes. I'm gonna put my sweet potato in there and uh, keep them watered and wait for them to sprout. That's it, nothing fancy, just in the hole. I'm not taking much notice of which way they've landed. I'm just gonna cover them over and uh, let them grow. Last but not least, water them in, wait for them to sprout. They seem like they're getting on, don't they? And the yeah. other male is just totally apart. Yep. I can't believe how much they've grown, though. They? Getting big, aren't they? Yeah. How long have we had them now? Three weeks. Three weeks? Uh, maybe two. Because we kept them in a week, and it seems like about a week we've been training them to go back home. Will they have oak with these birds? Yeah. Tasty morsels in there, isn't it? Hey, I'm ready for round two of planting. Yummy. So now that's done, it's time to get everyone fed and get ready for the kids to arrive. So we've got Hayden and Sarah coming tonight for a few days and their friends and it's it was Hayden's birthday recently, he turned 30 and Sarah's turning 20 tomorrow. So I've made them a beautiful chocolate cake and we're about to ice it. And Rob's been busy all day getting the dog fencing done. They're bringing their dogs with them, with gates on, and a door on the shower so they can enjoy their privacy. Let's go and see uh, where Rob's up to. Are you up to, babe? Yep, you getting the door on, the shower. Yeah. Can you That's see me? Yeah. Wow. I can see you and a beautiful sunset. Two of my favourite things. <laughs> and a generator background. Yeah. I'm actually just seeing. I went to measure it. Yeah. But I just nicked that off to get to a closer size. Mm -hmm. And then I'll equal that. I measured it. It's perfect. Great. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's so good. We've got three dogs coming in our two new little bundles of joy. So it's going to be a wonderful few days. My goodness. Hey? Are you breathing that in? That's a lot of smoke in a confined space. Yeah.
See it in action. Beautiful. Love it. Nice work. You like it? I like it. Yeah. Brilliant. Love it. Look at that. We'll go over it again. My we'll guy over it again. We're going to cut some pieces of timber to uh, hold that on nice and fast so the puppies can't squeeze through here. We just heard like a real scream over yeah, there just now. Fresh tracks up there. I mean, like a big scream. It. Yeah. Well, like a scream. Like a oh, wild animal type scream. Yeah. A yip. No, like a. Oh. Yeah, that's a mm. dingo. Yes, yeah, a dingo. You're an amazing guard dog, Zip. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a snore. I can't hear you, bro. Can you confirm where Rocco is? He's on mushroom tree. <laughs> I'm assuming. Over. And Betty? And where's Betty? I think on a binder. She's brown, round, and got two horns. Probably, I've got uh, Rocco and Betty. Cool. You see Rocco on the right of the yeah. big tree? Of the mushroom. The mushroom, <laughs> the big mushroom. <laughs> Lucky. 100 metres in front of you down towards me. Don't shoot. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. Do you see it? Okay, let's shoot it. <laughs> bang bang! End of radio talk. <laughs> Donkey packs. Can we just go like this? Uh huh. <laughs> what have we got on the menu? Good. We're having a little caterpillar problem. Yeah, a bit mean. 